director Doug as he spans the globe by sea, by land, and air to bring you the best of Figures in Action! <laughs> director Doug here, a world famous director who is outstanding in his field. But actually, I'm standing in a big field right now in Tulare, California. Come on, join me. <music> Director Doug here at Tulare Sci-Fi Con 2017, and I have the, the very distinct honor of talking to Deborah Dutch. And what are you? What's your? What are you known for? I am known for screaming. Screaming. You are the scream queen, right? Correct. Now, did you work with uh, Roger Corman? Yes, I did. And he is a classic. Tell us about that experience. Okay. I got into Roger Corman's films through Jim Wynorski. He was, he was a big-time director for Roger back in the early 90s. And um, I remember we were shooting Hard to Die. And... It was 6.30 a.m., and Roger Corman's schedules are two weeks, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, we were shooting all day. We'd get our sleep, come back. Well, 6.30 a.m. was my big scene where I had to go up the stairwell, and we were up real late the night before. Who shows up but Roger Corman? He was so class A act. Unbelievable. But I had to do the stunts. A stunt man was there for you know, because it's a uh, you know kicking like the mon you know the the guy played the monster Peter Spellos. Um But he was so cool, and he and it was Doug. You're not gonna believe this. He, you remind me of his demeanor. Like you know, he was mature, but he had this smile, but all knowing and. Cool, calm, collected, and powerful. Just like you. <clears throat> well, I'm not supposed to be speechless as the, uh, the interviewer. <laughs> no, I'm, just telling, but <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. Well, I'm going to accept the truth. And, and thank you so much. And tell us about, did you work on a Bruce Lee film as well? Well, he had just passed away. Uh, uh, like maybe a couple of years, five years earlier. And I was starting my acting career out in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And as a young actress coming from New York, I was uh, on Broadway, um, I got this manager, his name was Guy. I, I don't remember his last name, but it'll come to me. He was so cool. And he just took one look at me and he says, Debbie, I'm gonna, you know, take you places in this town, whatever, get you through some doors. And he did. But it was so interesting. I went to um, meet with June Chong, who was a Bruce Lee contender at the time. There were several um, martial artists. Mm -hmm. uh, it was time, he had a studio next to Chuck Norris on Wilshire Boulevard. Anyway, I met with June Chong at a dinner. And all the Koreans were there. The director, the crew, the this and that, because they were from North, uh, not North Korea, South Korea. But, uh, Nobody spoke English, and I'm sitting there. Jun Chong spoke English. He was the only Korean that was. And I just sat there. And I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. But they were looking at me, and then they'd say, or Jun said, just look over there. And I would go like, and he goes, okay. So we finished dinner. I go back home, and my manager calls me the next day. Are you ready to shoot? It's starting today. <laughs> and, and the audition was at dinner, and just my eyes. If you see the movie, Doug, you're going to see these close-ups of my eyes. If you look at my eyes, she had beautiful eyes, and I got them from my mother. But the way they shot the movie, that's how I got the part. I think also because the, if you see me running down the stairs and... You know, the bouncing. A little added yeah, attraction. Yeah, yeah. But the main part is your beauty and your poise and your work. You, whatever it was that you wanted, they wanted you to do, you were there oh. and you were very dependable, I am sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, and let me tell you, I had to do all my kung fu myself. I learned it on the set. It was 
awesome. I loved it. I really loved it. And the movie was supposed to only shoot a month. We were shooting three months. I said, I got to go. It's Christmas. I got to fly in an airplane. So they killed me off. But I mean, the stunts, I did all this. I almost got killed in that movie, though. I'm telling you. Well, it you... was tough. And they wanted to sign me to a five-picture deal because I became kind of famous in Korea. Because a friend of mine went to New York City. He was in Times Square. There was a big billboard on me. He calls me in L.A. He goes, Debbie, you're not going to believe this, but you're on a big billboard in Times Square. I said, what? He says, yeah, Bruce Lee fights back from the grave. And I go, you've got to be kidding me. But... There was a, a whole thing in Korea, and they wanted me to sign a five-picture deal, and I turned it down because I wanted to be a real actress. I didn't want to be a kung fu. Plus, in fact, it was so hard. I mean, it really was. I mean, because it was a non-union picture, uh, the work, and the phys physicality Et cetera. of it. Etc. So you made a practical decision, oh, and we are happy that you did. Yeah. And we're so happy that you support the Central Valley, and you're just a lovely oh. lady. And we wish you many more years of just keeping the fans enthralled and entertained, and and happy that they came to a movie. Oh, well, I love it. Well, you got to see my new movie, The Hollywood Warrioress. Have you checked it out yet? The Hollywood Warrioress. Yeah. Like warrior, but E S S. I had a um, a vision of it uh, after I was published in a magazine. As uh, I created the character, uh, a movie magazine in Europe came over. I was one of the top five B movie stars in America, so they wanted to do a interview and layout on me, and so I created this character. And then this whole movie came into my mind, and I ended up producing it. And it just got distribution worldwide, like right now as we speak. It's called The Hollywood Warrioress. Well, so, we, we need to go see that. Oh, and, and please. And thank you for sharing it with us. We've got to go to a, a film festival, and you are one of the candidates, so it just gets better all the time, Deborah. Thank you so much again. Oh, and from my heart, I just love being here and being with you, Doug. I really do. <laughs> I love it here. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. <laughs>